Welcome back to Web Squadron. I'm going to answer a question that someone posed on the Elemental Facebook forum where they were struggling to use icon boxes to create a carousel. So let's just go explain the problem. Icon boxes are great within Elemental and I'm just going to show you here if I just very quickly over here just add it into a blank page like an icon box okay and oh, I really need to get my colouring sorted out here. So we've got an icon, we've got a header and we've got some text, description and narrative. Let's just now say you want to have four of them on the screen and you want it to be a carousel. Well you can't really do that here because that is col that is one column and now you can have another column and another column and you can't really do a carousel between them. There are third party plugins. There's premium add-ons, there's an elements pack, uh, there's, there's a few others which will do this for you. But do you really want to add on another plugin that's got tons and tons of content and widgets just for one little feature? And the answer is no, you don't need to do that. And we're going to achieve what the problem was with a testimonial carousel. Stay with me on this. You are going to be quite surprised at how we make this work. OK, let's just get rid of this for now. OK, so remember, we're not going to achieve exactly this look, but it's the problem. And I'm going to show you how we can go about solving it. OK, so. What we're going to do is add in the testimonial carousel. Here we go. OK, let's just change the styling of this because uh, it's handy if we can actually see the text. You know, it helps a great deal. OK, there we go. Right. So we got a let's just get rid of some of them. So we only have one. So we got a description content at the top, an image to the left hand side. Then we have the name and the job title. What I'm going to do, and this is going to come across really strange, is just get rid of everything that's present. OK, so we just have the logo. I'm then going to click the logo and add in a little image that I created in Canva. There we go. You, you don't have to use SVG icons. You can, you can create your logo or your little image in Canva or something else and have it actually displayed there. It could be a picture of a face. It could be someone in like a team or whatever like that. Play around with it and do what you want. OK, you with me so far? Right. Oh, what we're then going to do is convert this. In fact, before I convert it, let me just give this a bit of a background color just so it, we can see the style of this a little bit better. Let's just go for a gray color there. OK, let's then go into the testimonial. And we're going to just change the background style of this to be white. OK, pretty simple so far. Go back to the content. And we can decide if we want to have it as a default or a bubble. If I do bubble, nothing much is going to happen because I've taken away all the content. But if you did bubble, you'd get a little like a uh, triangle, almost like chevron thing just sticking out of the bottom or the top, depending on the layout. Right. In terms of alignment, I'm going to stick this to the left. OK. And I'm going to say that I want the image to be above. So whatever is the content, the image will now be above. OK. Let's then go to style. Um, sorry, not style. Let's go to content and go to slides. Now, this is where I'm now going to do something very different. What I'm going to do is put the name and the description and the content uh, into the content field. OK, so what we'll do is if I go over to Word, that's my content I want. The title is a certain size and color. The sorry, the name, the title then is a different color and a different size. And then we have the content below. And there's a reason I've done it in Word, because by doing it in Word, I'm going to convert this into HTML. If you are really hot on HTML, you look at it and go, yeah, I know what to do. Style, paragraph, blah, 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 you know, font, you'll know what to do. Not everyone out there is great on that. Even I have to stop and think about what am I meant to be doing here? So what I do is I just copy the text. So I've done this in Word, styled it how I want, copied it. And then go to a website called word2html.net. Word2html.net. OK, really simple. You can, if you want, just type in here and do it here. But I prefer to do it in Word. And then I just paste over. OK, that's now pasted over. And over here, it's done everything I need. There is probably going to be loads of stuff in that HTML editor that I do not need. But I don't really care because it does the job. So I'm just going to copy everything that was here. This is free, by the way. Well, there are some, you know, there are some uh, more higher options you might want to go for, but it is free just to do the basic Word to HTML conversion. OK, let's go back to our slider. Let's go to content and we paste that in. 
Now, the first thing you will notice is that it is all italic. I never fully understand why it does this. So just go back into style, go to your content. And even though you haven't set this up to be italic, right? Even when I go into, um, where is it? Where is it? There we go, content typography. It does not say italic there, but I still have to go in and just click normal. Don't ask me why, it just does that, okay? So there we go, we've got, now if I show you my Word document again, it kind of looks how nature intended it to, how I created it. I mean, okay, the spacing there is a little bit off or whatnot, but I'm happy to go with that. Okay, great. So what we now have is we have our icon above, we got our description down the side. What we're missing though is the button. And if we go to the testimonial slider, there is no option in here for us to add a button. It's just not there. So how do we do that? Again, really, really simple. We're gonna add a plugin. What? You just said do not use plugins. This is not an elemental add-on plugin. This is something far slimmer and trimmed down. That uh, you're gonna be, you're gonna be like, whoa! I might use this for other stuff as well. So let me show you. Let's just click update. Okay. Let's go to our dashboard like so. And we're going to install a plugin. It's already installed, but I just want to show you where it is. Go to add new and type in max button. Okay, this is free. WordPress button plugin max buttons. Updated two weeks ago. It's already got 100,000 active installations, five star, thousand reviews. Okay, um, this is free, remember, okay? So once you've installed it and activated it, it will appear on your WordPress dashboard on your left-hand side over here. And what we're gonna do is we're just gonna click add new. I'm now gonna create a button, okay? I'm just, I'm just gonna call, I'm gonna leave, I'm just gonna call this um, example one. And let's just pretend I stick in a URL and it's gonna go either to an external, internal page, wherever you want, okay? Just like a standard button. You can have a tooltip if you want. So I'll say, you know, click me please like so. And the text, I'm just going to change to say, uh, click. Yeah, I know I could be a bit more imaginative. And we can change the font style, the size, whatever you want to do, okay? What we can also do is if I go down to say here, the background, I might say, okay, I want it to be a dark color. And when you hover over it, I want it to be a red color. And if we just go back to the top here, I want the font to be a white color when you hover over it. Okay, it's got a bit of a blue border, but I'm not gonna go through all of the settings here. You can chop and change it and style it to how you want it to look, okay? Um, and they are, there are various options here. So, you know, the padding, you know, the, the actual font, you can even do the radius as well. So I'll tell you what, let's just make it a 25, 25, 25, there you go. All right, so button styling, pretty simple. Okay, what you then do, is just hit save. Now, as soon as you hit save, it tells you what the max button short code ID is. You can either take it from here, or let's say you return two days down the line, just go to buttons and there it is. I'm just gonna pick up this short code here and copy that. I then go back to my pages and I go to my test slider page. I go back to my testimonial, okay, and by the way, you would have to do this per button if all of your buttons go to different places, okay? So you might have 10 buttons if you've got 10 slides, but that's not too bad, is it? You just duplicate it and then change the URL. So let's go into this one. Let's go to slide one. I'm gonna stick this into the name, or I could go for the title. It's up to me where we go, but I'm just gonna stick it into the name one for now, okay? And I'm gonna click update. And at the moment, you're not seeing anything. But if I do preview, boom. Okay, I probably need to mess around with the, because I mess around with the size. I need to mess around with the um, uh, the margins and padding of that. But if you do that properly, that will do it for you. So now I have a button and if I click, it's gonna take me to a page. But let's just go back to the original problem. So we have one testimonial. Let's now copy, 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 copy. Let's just do loads. And if we scroll down here to uh, slides per view, I'm gonna say we have three slides per show and we're gonna scroll up one per rate of whatever. And then you have your additional options for your dots, your slider, sorry, your arrows and however you want it. So if I now go to preview changes, 
we have an icon box carousel. We're using the Max Buttons plugin, which was free, and we stylized the content using the Word to HTML website. You used Word, you used that, and it might feel like, well, you've just done four things Elementor, um, Word, this website that we got on now, and a button. God, that's four things. Yeah, but I only found out about the problem earlier. I've quickly got a solution, and we're good to go. I really, really hope that helps you. Like, subscribe, and see you soon.